So the idea is that these buildings around us are iconic buildings. They symbolise London, just like the Tower of London or Buckingham Palace. And yet, for some reason, they seem to be off the current tourist map. And we're trying to bring them onto the tourist map, say that these places are public places, people should know about some of the things that have been going on here, learn a bit of local history about how some of these banks caused the financial crisis and caused the mess we're all in. I work as a teacher in a school just down the road from here, but it might as well be in a different planet. It's, the whole point is it's not, a, it's not supposed to be a massive protest, it's a, it's a tour group. So just as you'd see tours of, you know, of 10 people going around different sites around London, that's what this is about. It's the first of many, it'll be the first of many tours and we're hoping to make it a regular thing. Well, they say they've got an injunction against uh, protest in Canary Wharf, which is absurd in itself that this entire place can be um, completely sealed off from any form of public expression. But we're not really bothered about that because this isn't a protest, this is a guided tour, and we'll just be uh, going around and talking about some of the places here, so it's not a protest at all. The people who work in these buildings can see my school playground from their office, and yet they might as well live in different worlds. As we walk around today, I want you to remember that every single place we go today lies within the London borough of Tower Hamlets. You are standing now in Tower Hamlets. Tower Hamlets is the local authority with the second highest rate of severe child poverty in the entire country. It's the borough with the highest rate of youth unemployment in London. This year, Tower Hamlets is making £72 million of cuts to public services.